Rain today, we picked up officially about two one hundredths of an inch at the airport, so by and large a miss at that location. But I know uh, many of us picked up some rain this morning earlier today. 86 right now an east breeze at 14 miles per hour. Rain has shifted inland for the most part. We have some thunderstorms, three of them really uh, that are ongoing. One over Orange Grove that's going to start to dwindle here over the next few hours. Another one west of Kingsville and the third over Hebronville. As we start to lose daytime heating, those are going to dissipate, uh, but we've seen rainfall up around that two to three, even four inch mark in parts of the brush country. And because of that high rainfall rate, we do have a pair of flood advisories. These are going to expire during the five o'clock hour, but the rule of thumb is if you come across a roadway that's flooded, turn around, don't drown those again, those advisories in effect until 545 at the latest rain cooled temperatures 70s and up to the mid 80s throughout the area. We're actually the warmest location us in Beeville at 86 degrees. Reason for the rain, an upper level disturbance. You can see it spinning over in Mexico. That's it right there. That feature is drawing in Gulf moisture, helping it rise. And because of that, we had that hit and miss rain shower and thunderstorm activity today. Danny, the fourth named storm of the season, going to move into South Carolina tonight as a tropical storm that will fall apart over Georgia tomorrow. We'll jump out into the Atlantic Basin. We've got a pair of tropical waves out here, uh, one in the middle of the Atlantic, another one coming off of the African continent and the hurricane center is keeping tabs on this one. Invest 95 L a medium chance, 40% chance for development over the next five days. The spaghetti plot, you'll see them carry this invest into the Caribbean where it may develop as early as Wednesday. Then it'll ride the, the uh, Bermuda high over parts of the Caribbean. If it can manage to make it through the Caribbean, a lot of the guidance doesn't. Uh, it looks like it would bend to the north, but that's all to be determined at this point for us. That's something to watch, not worry about moving forward. Tonight we're going to be relatively quiet. Those showers will decrease as the sun sets tomorrow morning. Few showers, mid 70s and another round of scattered showers, isolated thunderstorms for Tuesday. We'll do that again here on Wednesday with another round of rain moving in. A lot of this uh, going to be heavy at times, but not everybody's going to get the rain uh, as we move into the next few days. On average, a half inch to one inch of rain with Tuesday, Wednesday offering the best chances before uh, that activity starts to diminish into the weekend. The weather threats non severe, but heavy rain and lightning going to be the two primary uh, threats with any activity out there. So tonight look for mid 70s overnight, a shower possible first thing tomorrow morning, hit and miss stuff, showers or storms for tomorrow. High temperatures in the mid to upper 80s and a lot of us going to stay a little below normal with that rain around mid to upper 80s for the coastal bend. Watch out for that rain if you're on the water tomorrow. 85 on the sea surface temperatures slightly choppy on the water outside of any activity less active for Thursday, Friday and the 4th of July weekend, but the rain chance is not zero, uh, so keep that in mind, but less active than today. Tomorrow Wednesday will be high of 92 on the 4th. Mike. All right, lots of stuff there. Thank